Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to redefine the meaning of a traditional Fortnite death run. You guys know all the creative maps we played up to this point. For the entire death run, we have the same health, the same speed for the most part, the same gravity type, and we may or may not be able to fly. But what if I told you those settings could actually change based on the level that you're currently on in a death run? Now, if you saw the title and you can read, you'll know where I'm going with this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the mixed settings death run. There's nine different game changing settings throughout the death run easy to medium and there's going to be 35 levels in total and those 35 levels will either have low gravity high gravity and thousand health fast or fly. And in those 35 levels, your settings will either be changed to low gravity, high gravity, and thousand health, fast speed, or fly. So in honor of the mixed up death run, I figured it would be best to wear a very messed up outfit. I see a very striking resemblance. And this map is made by the one, the only Charlie Brown. If you've ever watched one of my creative videos and you've been like, damn, that's a really good map. It was most likely made by this guy. I'll be sure to have his links in the description down below. Now, while you're playing the mixed up settings death run, it's important to not get mixed up in the mess and you know it would also be tragic to mix up the like button <laughs> so be sure to drop a like now when we leave the starting room there's different tunnels that we can take based on the different settings that we want to complete you can see 10,000 health is just one long level while the flash is seven different levels and we need to complete all of these levels in order to unlock the ending so i think i'm gonna start off with the flash seven levels we drop down the tube oh and our settings just changed. I think we got the Speedy Gonzalez setting. Let's start flying through. Easy. Level one of seven. Sorry, this is the fastest you can go. No worries. We don't need to go in. Okay, yes, we do need to go a little faster. I'm going to go ahead and bait the first trap. Pick myself up some momentum. You know what? We might just be able to fly through this whole thing. I'm not even going to pause on the checkpoints. If it's a real flash death run, we would just flash through the entire thing anyways. Okay, things are getting a little weird here. I'm going to try to cut a corner. Wow, I don't think we were supposed to do that. But we're still flashing. That's going to break probably. Jump right over it. It did break. We could hear it break. Oh, God. Why are those turning red? Oh, God. Don't. Okay, I thought that trap beneath me was going to get me. Okay, let's see if we can pause here a little bit. Jump to the bridge. We're not going to hit those traps up top. And I think... Is this the end? There's a door up there. This might be the end. Eight these. Make sure we got enough momentum. Don't get killed by those. Through the door. We hit the checkpoint. That is the end. Did we make it to the checkpoint, though? We did not. GG. We got to do the whole thing over again. Oh, the floor is breaking. Okay. I thought for sure we were going to get killed by that trap there. Okay. So I think the only thing that slowed us down was the fact that we had to open up the door. So now we should be able to get through. Fine. Let's go. Now we got to press this button right here to interact to let the game know that we completed the flash levels. Interact with that. Go through the rift. Uh, I don't know how we can tell. I'm going to assume that it's done. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling like flying a little bit. Let us fly. This is a really weird start to a map. Just fly. So I wonder if this just decreases your gravity. Okay. <laughs> we just jumped right into the traps. And we had to double tap to fly. Oh, whoa. Okay. I didn't realize it just literally... I thought it was going to be more of a glider type thing. Let's start the flight here. And just go straight across. That was easy. Fly fast. I'm guessing these do like damage to you or something. Oh, okay. There's traps on all of the walls. No need to worry. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So we're just going to want to stick really close behind this. Wow, through the door. This is scary. I'm not going to make it through in time. Definitely not going to make it through in time. Get me up and through. Okay, I don't know if the death zone was right behind me or not. I think it might have been. There's no way we were doing it that quickly. Just cheat with a winky face. So yeah, technically we don't have to do this. We can just fly straight through. What a cheat, dude. No need to trap bait. I want to trap bait though. I love baiting traps. You can fly quickly enough through the trap tunnel. Oh, you know what? We need flight on, on every single map. These are actually going to stink us. Oh no, no, we went too slow. We went too slow. That level stinks for more than one reason. <laughs> no, see, it's right there where I try to go back. Get me all the way up. Okay, I don't like these edits, man. I'm just going to turn around. Get me up and through. Get me up and through. Okay, we... Oh, we weren't stunk at all. Did I make a flying only map? Yes, you should, Charlie. Is it even a question? You're a godly map maker. All right, interact to complete the flying levels. Back through the rift. We're back at the beginning. So we've completed flash and we've completed flying. I don't want to do 10,000 health just yet because one long level bores the hell out of me. High gravity sounds way more fun than low gravity. Higher is always better than lower. So let's just do this. Oh, high gravity means the... 
oh, the gravity pushes down on you harder. So you can't jump as far. Full long distance jump, super tiny jump. Oh, now our gravity settings have been changed even more. <gasps> okay, good thing we're good with these jumps. Won't screw up on these too much. Look at this. this. I'm like a little mini, I feel like a small banana. Imagine if I was doing that tiny glitch that I did for a previous video. How weird that would feel on a high gravity level like this. All right, so there's a shortcut could just use to skip all that, but why would we use a shortcut? That's boring. Okay. Never mind. Now I, I see why people use the shortcut now. Bouncer, hold down S. Hold down S. Wow. Miscalculated. Yes. Easy peasy. We got a tiny dropper. Oh! Leaps and hurdles. Hold down. All the way through. Do we have to impulse back up now? Okay. Now I definitely see why people use the shortcut. Ow. Oh, the impulses even affect how high you can jump. So we couldn't have even gone all the way up. Okay, we have three. That's fine. Now we're back here. Oh, the reason we needed an impulse was so we could impulse over this. Holy crap. That is so cool. Smiley face. Interact. We've completed the high gravity level. Let's get the Freak out of here, man. That level was weird. And by the way, in traditional pro Hennis fashion, I am recording this video at eight o'clock in the morning. And pretty much the only reason I'm able to do that is because of G Fuel. And no, I haven't gone to bed yet, but pretty much the only reason I'm able to do this is because of G Fuel. Quick plug, if you guys didn't know, Code Hennis is 30% off from now until the 26th. So take advantage of it while it lasts. It makes a great Christmas gift for you, your family, your brother, your sister, your dog, your grandmother. I'm sure your grandmother would love a shot of caffeine. And it tastes great too. Just to be clear, just kidding. Do not feed G Fuel to your dog. I don't know what it would do, but it Probably wouldn't be good. I'm gonna go ahead and get 10,000 health out of the way since low gravity sounds way more fun. So this is one long level, but we got 10,000 health. When do I get the 10,000 health? I don't have it yet. There it is, 10,000 health. Now, trap baiting. Okay, somehow I already got hit. My health actually went down. That's not a worry though. The nice part about doing a trap tunnel like this with 10,000 health is you can mess up. We don't have to restart the entire freaking thing. We actually got hit by a stinky trap behind us. That's just rather unfortunate. These traps, ow, I absolutely hate. I have no idea how to bait them. They reset way too quickly. I don't know how I managed to... Okay. Okay, you know what? Honestly, we're just going to go straight through all of those. There's a trap up there. There's stinkies right here. Now, this is... Is that ice or water? What the heck is that? Oh, God. Okay, I baited it. That actually... I jumped a little bit in my seat. Oh, this is just like the gooey, the gooey goo, the slurp swamp. That's what that is. No. Oh God, there's traps. Okay, 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 okay. Thank goodness we've got 10,000 health. I don't think uh, the ooey gooey stuff down here though actually replenishes any of your health. I guess it kind of does, but it doesn't matter because you get hit by the traps anyways. So we're still going to lose more health than we're going to gain. I don't know why this jump is, I'm pretty sure next to impossible. Could we just go right over there and like jump on top of that and jump in? I don't know. I feel like that's cheating. We already cheated enough on this map. There we go. Third time's the charm. Jump, little banana man. I really thought we were going to choke that one. On straight through. Now, these definitely do damage to you. If I jump on top of them. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, they're pinballs. I hate pinballs. Why are they stretched out like this? Ow, wow, that does so much damage. Holy crap. Okay, I don't really know a good way to jump through here without taking a lot of damage. So I think we're just gonna have to take it. Move, get through. Oh God, this is not tickle. This is not tickle. Get me through, get me through. I'm sorry. Oh, I've already lost more than half my health. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we don't want to take fall damage. So if we just jump down here, take it little bit by bit, we won't have any problems. I'm definitely not gonna jump all the way down. I'm not treating this like a dropper. What am I, a madman? Okay, this drop looks like it might hurt a little bit. It did. Wow, how did that one? Oh God, there's a... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Can I... No, I can't get any slurp health. No, how much damage does this do? Okay, it actually doesn't do that much. This isn't too bad. Let's just run straight through as quickly as we can. Ow, there's actually jump fatigue. Charlie, what are you doing? There's the end. There's the end. Get me through. I'm stuck in the barrels. I swear to God. Interact. Get me through the rift. Charlie, the heck was that, man? We've completed all but one level, the low gravity. There's 10 levels to this one. This one sounds like it's going to be fun. If it's the opposite of high gravity, it means we're going to be able to jump really, really nice and high. So I need to go ahead and bait this. 
don't know how we didn't bait it. Let's try that one more time. Astro Trap Baiter, by the way. What? Yes, dude. I missed out on playing. There was a really popular map called Low Gravity or, or Space Death Run a while back. I know Kenny and I played one too. Oh, is this a... Do you have to momentum that? This has got to be the freaking coolest one just yet. Oh, that's so cool. Go all the way down. Kind of hold forward at the very end. Fade the trap. Not even phased. Not even worried. Jump over the death barrier. How the heck do you jump over that? Is this even possible? My head hits the ceiling. Is there some weird spawn protection we have to use? What I just realized... I think you can actually jump and land in between these. Never mind, you can't. I'm an idiot. Unless that wasn't between them. Hold on, I might still be right here. That's how you freaking do it. Are you kidding me? No wonder you couldn't make one long distance jump. I'm jumping over that trap. No need to bait it. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. That's a really cool level. I shouldn't have been able to complete it my first try, but I did. That was sick. This is like a reverse dropper with zero gravity. And I just went all the way back to the beginning. Dude, I'm telling you guys, if you don't know who Charlie Brown is, he makes some of the coolest, most creative maps out there. If you guys haven't checked him out yet, like I said, I will be sure to have his stuff in the description down below. And we're going up again, like a reversed around about Neo. Now it gets fun. It gets fun now. Heck yeah, it gets better, dude. We got even le I, I guess this is low, less gravity. Yes, less gravity, but we can do more with it. Dude, that is so cool. Wait. First try, baby. I'm the freaking best that's ever freaking lived. Do we fall at the same rate? I think you fall at pretty much the same speed as when you don't have normal or have normal gravity. Okay. Normal gravity. I don't even know what, dude. I'm so freaking tired. It's 830 in the morning. Let's just get through this. Okay. <laughs> this is the very last level. I want to see what the GG room is. Oh, wait, this is going to send you up really high with a shockwave. Okay. We got to throw this down. You got to like throw down the shockwave and jump at like the very, very last second. There we go. That's what did it. That's it. That's what I wanted. Okay, right here. I almost push button, then enter rift. Easy. Push button, enter rift. And I think that's it. Oh, yes, you can see it's opened up. That means we've completed it. Progress. Once they are all lit up, GG. Once they are all lit up. Oh, were, th were these rings not lit until we completed the levels? I'll have to go back and look at the recording. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Complete to unlock. We can jump through here now. G, G. Charlie, that is such a cool map. Look at this. Consider using code Charlie Brown hashtag ad or code Envy Kenworth or Acidic Blitz. All right, all right. I know it's been a while since I played a creative map, so I'll let this one slide. You can also use code Hennis in the item shop, or you can use either one of these guys' code. Justin and Kenny are both amazing guys. You can look at the map by taking a riff there. GG. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, though. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe as well if you're new. GG to Charlie. Like I said, be sure to check out his stuff in the description down below. And also, like I said, my code for G Fuel is 30% off from now until the 26th of December. So be sure to take advantage of it while it lasts. It's a great way to support the channel. But guys, that's going to do it for me. I'll see your beautiful faces in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.